Um, it's eight seconds. If you're an athlete, any kind of an athlete at all, and you train a little bit, it's eight seconds. If you can't get yourself up for that long, you're doing something really wrong. For Cowboys, bull riding is considered the toughest sport on dirt. Winning the championship buckle requires courage, strength, and attitude. All that on top of 1,500 pounds of mean. Ten cities map the road to the Canadian Finals Rodeo. This is Hell on Hooves. The Medicine Hat Exhibition and Stampede has been a long living tradition since 1887. This is the heart of cattle country where rodeo is part of a unique western lifestyle. Tyler Thompson is a third generation cowboy. He's also a professional bull rider and two time Canadian finals rodeo competitor. Over the next three days he'll compete against 40 other bull riders in hopes of earning enough money to qualify for the finals once again. I've been to the CFR a couple times now, um, qualified for my first first CFR in 06, um, competed there again in 07, uh, competed at the Calgary Stampede a couple times and uh, went to the uh, World Cup in Australia last year with Team Canada which was probably the biggest, biggest uh, deal of my whole career. I, that, was, that was really special to represent our, our country. Our family was raised around it. I, I was brought up as whenever, like, as soon as I was big enough to walk, we were riding horses and, uh, you know, you grow up around rodeo and, and it's just something you, you're brought up with and, and uh, that's, that's kind of just the way, that's, that's the way a lot of guys get into it. There's very few that don't get into it that, that way riding sheep and then you went on to the little calves and to steers and when you get 14 or so you, they quit letting you get on steers so then uh, you've got to make a bit of a, a bit of a, an adjustment whether you go to the horses or you go to the bulls or maybe you just end up being a t uh, timed event end guy but um, I kind of I kind of ran into a funny deal a buddy of mine that I was traveling with because I was scared scared to death of bulls I didn't want to I didn't want nothing to do with them I wanted to be a, a bronc rider and and uh, we showed up at a rodeo one day at the end of our steer riding career and I was entered in the bull riding. He was getting on, so I had to. I ended up winning the rodeo and it was, that's, that's, I was hooked ever after that.